What's up my YouTube family? This is your girl Sandy and I want to do another video. This one is about that guy. What, what's his name girl? Jason Mitchell. Yeah, Jason Mitchell. I only know him as the guy from the shy. I started watching it uh, uh, for the first couple of seasons. It was okay. It really was. But he did that easy e roll. Straight out of Compton. Straight out of Compton. And, and I couldn't tell. The, I mean, it was a big difference. I didn't even know it was the guy. The same guy. You know, pretty good actor. And wouldn't you think? I'd say he was. But here's my thing. It's all over the blogs and YouTube that he he's uh, lost his job. Basically, they cut him off from all his shit. His even agency. Agency. The and shy. He even was going to do an HBO movie, and they cut yes, him out of that, yes, too. Right. Oh, girl, you're very informed, and I am. It's totally off, but because I wasn't looking at it in that, in that angle. I mean, the stupidity of it all. Why would you try to, whatever you're trying to do, touch on somebody or too aggressive or whatever it is that you're trying to do. They got these women, because it's not only his co-star that's complaining, it's other women that's complaining too. So, you know, why would you want to do it? You know the shit that R. Kelly's going through and Harvey Weinstein, all this Me Too stuff. You know, it, it, for me, if I was a guy, which I'm not, but I, I wouldn't even, I, I'm bad to a woman. How you doing? Bye. That's it. An unknown woman. But anyway, it's just hard to approach now. It's a scary, scary time. But the angle that I'm looking at it is the, his co-star, his female co-star. Now, everybody has saw the shy, so everybody know what his female co-star looks like. Her name's Tiffany Boone. There she you go. plays Jericho. There you go. Yeah, yeah, girl, you got she it. She plays his girlfriend. Okay. On the shy. She plays his girlfriend on the shy, but he want to take shit to, to another girlfriend. level and make him, you know, do some real girlfriend, boyfriend type moves. But the thing about it is, for one, it's a work relationship, and then for two, you know, she don't want to be bothered. And she got a fiance. She got a fiance. And that's the angle that I want to talk about it. This is when black women really need protection. You know, because she did the right thing. She went home and she told her man, shit, dude is a little bit too aggressive for me. And he came up there and he said, you know what? I could imagine being a fly on the wall listening to that conversation with her saying, you know, it's this dude at work, you know him, and he touching on me and kissing me wrong and won't let me go, holding me too long, and just just out and out, out of pocket with me. And she's coming home every day with a new story, and dude is like, you know what, go to management, do this, do that. And so finally, dude is like, you know what, skip that. This is, I'm coming up there. I'm coming up there, and I'm going to handle this. You don't even have to worry about it. You know, I got this. And I don't care if I have to sit with you every day. Let him try some shit and see what happened. And he took his ass up there and handled that business. Now, that's what I'm talking about right there. I know it's a lot of sisters out there that say, I don't need no protection. What y'all talking about protection? We don't need y'all protection. This is when we need a black man's protection. When we can go home and we can tell our man, this is happening to me. And he like, okay, I'll handle that. And I know a lot of you women out there don't need protection. I've seen it. Well, you can tear black man's ass, tear any man's ass up. You don't need him for that. If you don't whoop his ass, you and your girlfriend will do it. Or y'all will shoot his ass or you will shoot his ass. Whatever. The women that's not on that. The women that's not built for that we need our men's protection and this is a case where she needed her man's protection and he was on it he was on it so don't make other women that need a man's protection feel bad about it or embarrassed about it I'm not a boxer I'm not a kickboxer I'm not a fighter I, I don't I don't do the fight thing I catch your ass later that's what men or women 
I'm not, I'm not about to fight with anyone. And that's where my man comes in at when it comes to another man. You know, step up to the plate and step up for me. You know, period. And that's exactly what her fiancé did. And hats off to that black man for going up there and protecting his woman and saying, do that shit now. Do it. Do that shit now. Because a lot of black men aren't in the position to where they can go up to his woman's job and, and tell another black man or another white man, man, period. Dude, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. So, on that note, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Anyway, toodles.